Homeless service providers in Lancaster County are having to grapple with the lack of a permanent walk-in homeless shelter in the county while a new one is currently being built. Fox 43's James Corrigan tonight spoke with one provider and tells us how that population is being cared for while in limbo. For the homeless population of Lancaster County, it's a period of transition from one low barrier shelter to another. And with that shelter three and a half months from opening and nothing to fill in the gap until then, it leaves a number of unhoused residents looking for help. We just kept open lines of communication with everyone that was in shelter, said we're not going anywhere. Rebecca Sainer is the outreach manager for the Lancaster County Food Hub, which had operated the previous walk-in low barrier shelter in Lancaster on North Prince Street. That shelter was forced to close after the property's lease with the Lancaster County Homeless Coalition ended. That loss of an 80-bed shelter left dozens in limbo and left the Food Hub and other outreach groups to take care of people without a permanent place to live. We have been able to maintain relationships with most of them um, wherever they're staying outdoors. Um, some of them were able to reconnect with family to find places. Some of them were able to go into other shelter systems that are within the city. Our street outreach team is supporting those that did choose to go out outdoors and did not take shelter options or did not have the ability to move into in any kind of independent housing. 30 of the 80 residents were placed in other facilities. The remainder will now wait for the new shelter to open at the Otterbein United Methodist Church. Until then, the goal for homeless providers is to keep them connected to services. Healthy relationships with service providers, healthy relationships with neighborhoods, with the community, and that's really what we're focused on, is to find those healthy relationships, whether it begins with us and ends somewhere else, whether it stays with us. The new shelter is set to open on December 1st. James Cargan, Fox 43 News.